Hello everyone, thank you again for watching another episode of How It Works, and today I'm going to be uh, telling you about Take Back Defender. It's a, another project that I whipped up uh, that I think would help a lot of people. I'm seeing a pickup on one of my videos about Microsoft Defender, and so I decided to take it up a notch and give you a tool instead to be able to use and instead of you having to go in and finagle with group policy, this actually just processes and automates that process for you. So, um, we're going to go ahead and get started and dive right in. Okay, so we're back. If you haven't already, make sure that you download Take Back Defender from the OneDrive link that I have in the, in the description below. Once you've clicked on the link, you're going to see takebackdefender.exe. Go ahead, click that, download it, and then once you're done, go ahead and unpause the video. Okay, so we're back. So basically, the next step that we're going to do is go ahead and go to the description in the video below. And then you're going to want to go to my OneDrive link, which will then have Take Back Defender. Um, so you're going to go ahead and download the takebackdefender.exe file. Once it downloads, then go ahead and unpause the video and then come back to me. Okay, so assuming that you have downloaded the file, the next step is that you're going to go ahead and double click on the file within your downloads folder. All right, you're going to go ahead and simply hit extract. And then it's going to go ahead and create a folder. And in the folder is the content that we need. We're going to go ahead, go down to Take Back Defender, double click. Okay, so now you're going to have the main menu. And so basically, there's a few things I'm going to go over with you real quick. So this is typically done by advanced users only. So this is for people who know exactly what they're wanting and why they're doing this. And if you don't know, it's for the people who wants to turn off real-time protection with Windows Defender since it automatically turns itself back on. This gets in the way of being able to use like OneDrive or other cloud services. This gets in the way of, uh, you know, programs that runs heavy with CPU and RAM. So this will free up uh, the necessary uh, resources that you would need to be able to run your programs. Uh, this would also help older machines run smoother. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and I'm we're going to go ahead and launch option 1. And this is going to teach you how to turn off tamper protection. So this is obviously built into the project in case if you can't find this video or you forget to hit subscribe and give the video a thumbs up then you have this. And that's it. So we're going to go ahead, close this out. And just for demonstration, I am going to just run through this with you real quick. Option four, press enter. Go here under virus and threat protection. Manage settings, scroll down, tamper protection, turn off. This will now allow group policy to be able to do its thing. And I'm about to show you what I mean by that. So you want to turn off tamper protection as the first step. So this is where A comes into play. B, you must be a Windows Enterprise or a professional um, or uh, education user, uh, you must have VBS installed to run the script, which most of the time Windows has that enabled now. Um, at some point, I do believe Microsoft is going to try to retire that feature. Uh, you must disable temporal protection before enabling or disabling real-time protection, which was what we just talked about. So now, let's say I want to turn off real-time protection. Since we turned off tamper protection, now we're going to go ahead and select option two and press enter. 
run it as admin. And as you can see here, basically it's taking what's in the downloads folder and it's moving it to the group policy. And basically group policy is updating. So in other words, files that is here, it's robocopying to the group policy folder in system 32 and then using group policy to update the policy, which is the reason why we get this at the very end. Option four again, press enter. As we have the exclamation mark, that's telling me that this is working. And then we go under manage settings and this setting is managed by your administrator. So this means that Windows Defender can't just turn itself back on whenever it feels like. You now have control of Microsoft Defender, AKA Windows Defender. And just like that, I am gonna keep it off because I am recording. You all have a good one. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and please help each other in the comments. And don't forget to uh, hit me up on my Discord if you feel like it. Thank you. Bye-bye.